On March 27, 2022, police responded to a two-vehicle accident with injuries at an intersection in La Crosse, Wisconsin. A man reportedly ran a red light and was struck by another vehicle, resulting in one of the vehicles to crash into the glass wall of a car dealership. The struck vehicle, a black Acura MDX, possessed a dash cam and the operator gave consent for police to obtain the footage. Both vehicles sustained heavy disabling damage on all sides and both occupants were transported to a local hospital for injuries. Police noted the black Acura crashed into the showroom glass wall. How's it going? You guys okay? okay? I'm not involved. I saw it. Okay. I was like in the, yeah, view. View. I had the best view. I had the movie view. Yeah, what'd you see? Um, this black car, small piss car from this guy coming. This car was going that way, right? Yeah, I didn't got to around. Yeah. So the black car was in. I was in this lane, the black car's in this lane. This guy's coming. So he was coming that way. This guy. This guy's coming from this way. Small cam spins him around, and then they both end up here. You guys had green? We had red, and he, this black car blew it bigger than shit. Oh, okay. Hugely. Okay. Because I was looking at it, and I was like, so you were stopped and then... I wasn't stopped, but I was quite a ways behind him, but it was already red. The other vehicle, a gold Dodge Charger, had heavy damage as well. The operator was identified as 38-year-old Travis Schumacher. The, yeah, it was. I was looking at it and I looked at it and I'm like, man, that dude's going to blow that red light. Yeah. And he went through it and then I saw the other car coming and I was looking at the timing and I'm like, that's not good. He's going to fucking hit that car. Yeah. You know, it looks weird. And then everything just slows down. Yeah. Boom, you know, and then it's like a movie almost. Because I mean, this thing, yeah. this thing was, I mean, dude, it looked awesome. Yeah. What's that? I'm, I'm, I'm a yarn. Oh, yeah. Seven. I was like, must have been 30 seconds behind it. Okay. I just checked to see if he was all right. Okay. I unbelted him. He was buckled. That was Did the only thing. Did they say it went hospital, do you know, or no? I'm assuming they went to Gunderson, but I don't know. Okay. Yep. All right. I appreciate the stop. Yep, absolutely. Yeah, thank you. Okay, I know. 248 plates if you need them. I'm guessing it's ended up in the back somewhere. Oh, there's a camera in there. Yeah, yeah there's a camera. Let's take some pictures. Tyler, we're really excited about Yeah. Yeah, I'll see how he gets into it. But. Yeah. No, it just goes. What was that? The place goes. <laughs> yeah, so someone's getting pictures. Hopefully that car didn't get hit. Your brother there. said Nezzy's got pictures, <laughs> and then he's got another yeah, witness nice stand. It looks like it's just glass. I gotta talk to Renardo. He's got a dash cam in his camera, so he said he'll prove that he had a green light. He does? Yeah. It's in there, too. You can see it on the dash. So I don't know. I'll talk to him quick. Except yeah, that's where that, that yeah if you don't mind, actually. No, I'm here to help out. Sounds like uh, white male and his young kid is probably eight or nine. And they don't, don't know his name. The chick just gave him a ride down because he was freaking out about his kid. So, All right. Which is kind of fair. So. Sounds good. Yeah. Just let me know. Okay. You guys get any indicators for, like, drinking or anything? Or? He hasn't admitted to anything. I haven't. I don't smell anything on him. Okay. Um, All I right. can, did you ask him directly? No, I, I'm going to, but okay. I just wanted to check with you. I but. haven't seen anything. A yellow Plymouth Barracuda was parked in the showroom covered in glass. I'll take pictures of this poor muscle car too, I guess. Yeah, what's this? The hood pop? Did it get hit by something? I don't know. I think it was just pop too good with it. I'm not going to touch it. I wouldn't touch it. I'll just get records falling down. Respondent for uh, Pishke Motors here will need to come out. Uh, I have an audible alarm going off inside. Uh, both windows on the south end of the uh, building here are broken out and they'll need to be secured. Uh, we'll also need to talk about this uh, muscle car that might have some damage as well. 
Copy that. Respondent Tom en route 20 minute ETA black or dark blue Jeep Grand Cherokee. And we get they get notified of the alarm. 104. And Veracruz. That would be it. Check it out. I thought it was 15, not 13, but maybe it was characters on the VIN. Yeah, it's definitely going to have some scratches and stuff on the paint. Uh, Eddie, just watch out. Don't walk underneath that. Just walk under, like, right here in the corner. Yeah, we're, we're going to be doing some structural. We're going to have a structural guy come. Okay. 20-minute um, ETA for the respondent here. Yeah. Tom. I'd make it short. I mean... Nothing's cracked up top, but this is no longer providing any support. Right. Okay, um, I ran that. It came back to Pishkey. Um, I don't see any immediate damage, but I would imagine there's going to be something with it. You know, with all the glass and stuff. I took a bunch of pictures of it, um, as well as all the other vehicles. Um, I can get you the case number for everything here, Rick. Okay. Um, like I said, I don't know. You know, without obviously brushing it off and looking at it, you don't know. But no, we're it for now. Right. Um, right. Um, yeah. But, but yeah. Um, as long as you, yeah, you're working on getting this covered up. We have tow trucks on the way, yep. so okay. they'll pull the vehicles out. Uh, leave this one, obviously. Yeah. We'll let you guys deal with that. Um, yeah, let me get you that case number here right now. Okay. Too. Play. So. All right. Any well, questions or? We'll take it from here, I guess. <laughs> All right. Sounds great. Not sure how we're going to. Yeah, just, just watch out walking in and out because glass has been yeah. falling. Yeah. So I would suggest just not going through it at all, to be honest yeah, with you. Also. <laughs> we'll stay away. All right. Take care. You. You're welcome. An officer spoke with the black Acura driver at the hospital, and he was cited for violating the red traffic signal. He then spoke with Travis, learned the vehicle was not insured, and informed him of his revoked driver's license. Travis admitted that he does not have a valid license, but had the right of way and didn't cause the accident. Travis was advised by the officer that pending charges were filed for operating after revocation and bail jumping. The officer then stated he was going to be taken into custody upon being medically cleared. Hours later, dispatch received a call from the hospital informing that Travis fled the building on foot during his treatment. Numerous officers responded to the area, however, he was not located. Based on the incident, there was probable cause to arrest Travis and a warrant was requested. When Travis is located, he will also be cited for operating after revocation speeding 1 to 10 miles per hour over and operating without insurance. Do you enjoy our content and want to see more? Join the Code Blue Cam Patreon for early access to ad-free videos, exclusive content not published on YouTube, behind the scenes, and much more. By joining, it will help with the production, sustainability, and long-term viability of Code Blue Cam. See the link in the description for more information. We are truly thankful for all your support.